disc covers. Take those off. We'll keep these bolts because you're going to use those to hold on the mechanism later on. Because these ones in here, they're too short. Okay, so what we're going to do is convert that and we'll show you how to do it. First thing is to cut out the center. Okay, so you cut out the center. Here's the mechanism inside. Yeah. And then these are the things here on the kids' trike which hold it to the forks. So we're going to replace those with proper bearings and bearing cups. You could run those, put them on the bottom ends of your BMX forks, but I think um, they won't last that long if you get over like 30, 40 mile an hour. So we'll put bearings on those. So the next thing is dismantle the axle. So you're taking the circlips off, which were here, and then these plastic things which sit here. You've got a piece of plastic in there, that's very important. We'll use that later on. Now we just need to unbolt the wheel and then we will start cutting up the plastic bit, getting it ready. Okay, so now we have two bits. We have our plastic center from the 14 inch and we have our freewheeling hub or axle with the hub on it. So there's a few changes to be made. We need to change the ends because these have the aluminium is on. If you get another kid's trike they already have the ends squared so you don't you can put normal pedals on. We are going to put some spaces in here then we're going to put a bearing on here and the same on the other side and that will replace the plastic bits. To do that we need to sand this down because this is 16 mil and the bearings are 58 so it's about 0.3 or 0.5 of a millimeter smaller which makes it nice and tight but uh, 16 millimeter bearings are very expensive so and too wide so the 58 is better so let's look at uh, the wheel now I've cut it like that because when if you start grinding this then all the plastic and aluminium will go flying on your wheel so it makes it harder to clean up. It's easier to, to take that down and just to work on this part here. Now what I do with this is because this part here fits into there really tightly I cut this off, you'll see it in a minute and then I take this out of here and I place this piece of plastic into the wheel and that will help you center the wheel it'll hold the hub better because it fits nicely around there and it'll adjust it so that this is in the center so you have the equal space or equal amount of axle either side of the wheel because you need it in the center of the axle anyway you'll see once we start putting it so the first step is to cut the spacer or the mount this mount off the center of the wheel and then we're going to attack the hub to put it into there okay so we have now the spacer cut off and we'll grind that down a little bit later on so it's flat but at least this will now fit into there nice and firmly like that and we will grind out this and sit that in the mag so that it's easy to bolt the holes through the other side and that the axle is central. So the next step is to change the ends. As I said, only on the Razor Drift Strike, on the Razor Screen Machine, do you get these aluminium ends. So we're going to change those so we can get the normal square pedals on, which will be like... Okay, remember this, this part is only if you have a razor trike or a screen machine. If you have a Cars one or a Lazy Boy, anything with normal wheels, normal pedals like these, square cuddlers cranks, you will not need to make this modification because the ends of the 
x will already be square. But with a razor trike, you get that, and you get these horrible aluminium pedals that break, which I don't suggest you use. Plus, if you change these to the square ones, then you can also lengthen your cranks as well. So it's fairly straightforward. All you need to do is grind that side there and the other side so that they're square or you can just use a file the first one I did was just with a file and you end up with that sort of profile yep and then when you stick it in the vise you can then put your crank on no problems make sure you keep like say three or four mil so it slides on, it can tighten up, and then simply put those on, which is, comes with the cranks anyway. And then as I said, you can make these longer, so they're only, I think, 10 centimeters, so you can make them 12, or whatever you want to. Right, so our axle looks like that. Yep, and don't we squared off the ends so we can get our pedals on. Now we need to change it to look like this. So we need to put the bearings on. Yep. Now as I said before, these bearings are 5 8 So they will not go straight on. Yep. You're gonna have to sand the shaft until they slip on. Once you've sanded the shaft, the 5 8 bearings will slip straight on and you can use the circlip here to hold them there. Then you'll need to put a spacer in there. And the last thing to do is to now cut this down to a good size and then cut out the center of the wheel. To mount it. Now if you don't want to sand it you can get 16 millimeter inside diameter bearings and they will go straight on but the problem is that they're about seven or eight pounds a side and they're also about double that thickness as well so they're going to have trouble getting them into there but you could go for the op other option get 16 mil inside diameter bearings they'll go straight on and then you'll have to weld the fork ends as in. These are unicycle forks. Okay, so after some sanding, just to take like 0.5 of a, 0.2 of a millimetre off something, the bearing now slides right past where the slurper is. What we're putting this on here for, if you have forgotten, is they came with this plastic thing which will melt at high speed. Now we have a bearing which is going to go onto our forks. So this would break if you crashed into something. I mean, you could probably use it to start with and then you, something a bit more rigid and certainly a lot faster as well. <laughs> 